Hit Pupart przyjmujący drużyny Kuprum Lubin. Zapraszamy Państwa na siatmówkę. Kolejne wydanie. Będzie naprawdę ciekawie. Kit, uh, we have to leave for a moment professional sport, professional volleyball. I have to ask you something about your homeland. Uh, where is this place? In Estonia? Uh, my homeland is, uh, is in Pärnu. It's like, they call this like uh, summer capital of Estonia. So it's like uh, near coast. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's Parna, it's not, uh, I have something, uh, Kuraser, this is a beautiful, famous uh, Estonian uh, holiday place, no? Yeah, yeah, correct, uh, actually I moved, my like, uh, birthplace is in Kuraser, but uh, now I live like two years in uh, Pärnu, that's why. If uh, I could understand, your family now in Parna? My family is in Pärnu, yes. Is in Pärnu, are your wife and your children? My wife and children is in Pärnu, yes, but uh, and uh, like father, mother is they are still in uh, Kurasa. Aha, like how, how many children do you have? I have two, one son and one daughter. Aha, uh, congratulations, of course. Uh, uh, and I hear something about uh, small city and crowded city. You like small city, like Lubin, yes? Your wife uh, told me something about that on Messenger <laughs> in Facebook. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's uh, actually we like uh, Pärnu more because it's smaller than, uh, for example, Tallinn and uh, life is there is like more calm. In Tallinn every, everybody is so stressed and uh, if you want to go from some part to another part it takes a lot of time. In Pärnu it's like you can go everywhere by like 20 minutes, so it's, it's more more calm and for uh, for our family it's the best solution. And you like it? Yeah, we like it. Like in Lubin? <laughs> <laughs> the terra in Pärnu is a little bit better. Okay, uh, but you have some experience with uh, Arago de Sete. This yes. is uh, too, some small beautiful city on the coast. Yes, yes, uh, there, uh, I played there two years. And it was also, yeah, like Kurart, like... Uh, but there lived mostly like old people because uh, in France to live uh, there in set, uh, you have to have money because uh, normally younger people they don't have money and like older people they have their houses and everything there and it's it's not uh, cheap to live there it's it's quite expensive. Okay, uh, what are you doing? Or what is uh, your uh, favorite uh, hobby? Something. Like what are you doing after sport? After after a game? Uh, I think my favorite hobby is tennis. I if I don't. If I have time, like uh, then in summer I play quite a lot of tennis. And I hear something you get from Santa Claus uh, PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's also, but it's only like uh, one, two weeks. So it's uh, yeah, I play, I play it for sure. Yeah. Also. Yes, and what is your favorite game? FIFA. Um, <laughs> Yeah, at the, I think at the moment it's uh, I don't have so many games because uh, I haven't bought it yet. But uh, at the moment is Vifa, I think, and also Verze. Ah, okay. Israeli. Battlefield, no? I want to buy it. I haven't uh, buy it yet, but Battlefield is I, for sure. I will buy it. Uh, which which uh, team you choose always uh, when you play in Fifa, for example? Real Madrid, Barcelona, Zagreb yeah. Lubin. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, mostly I choose uh, Real Madrid. Uh, like I think most of the most of the players, I think. 
Uh, Kid, and uh, I heard something about animals. Do you like animals? Uh, a lot of people told me that. Yeah, I always liked animals. It's uh, especially dogs. And uh, this summer also we took one dog and we are uh, very satisfied. It's like really friendly animal. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> which one? Which one dog? It's called uh, Mops. I don't know if the English is also Mops, but uh, in Estonian it's Mops. And this, uh, yeah. You like dogs like uh, Masne, <laughs> but he like big uh, dogs. Do you know? Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, I I know. But uh, I prefer like smaller ones because uh -huh, for children. Yeah, for children because big dogs are they are uh, sometimes they are uh, quite aggressive maybe and, and that's why we took this mops. Uh, what are doing your wife in Parna? Uh, she's uh, teaching. Uh, she's working in kindergarten. Ah, okay, for young young children. Yeah, young children. Small, yeah, okay. She's like a teacher, teacher oh. for young, young children, like six, seven years. This is like mission. That's why he, she is uh, in Parna or in uh, here in Lubin. Yeah. Yeah. Travel. Yeah. yeah. That's why. To be sport. Then uh, we both can do what we what we like. Like I, uh, I like to play volleyball, and I have to be here. And she likes to be a teacher. And and uh, if you don't know the language, then here it's impossible to get to work. Uh -huh. So that's why we are like this. You like jokes, yes? <laughs> you like uh, make jokes for people. <laughs> and yeah. uh, your sister told me uh, you were very naughty when you were young and used to use, for example, for your snakers, uh, her uh, toothbrush. It's true? <laughs> Actually, this I don't <laughs> even re remember. <laughs> okay. Maybe my sister knows better then. Yeah, but for sure I like to make jokes. Yeah, but maybe some jokes are not like for for uh, other other people. Uh, Mirko prepared uh, the letter, I think, in uh, for warm-up exercises, and I just uh, hide it, like I took it and hide it. So uh, this was this was this joke. And nobody knows about that. And somebody, I if I could remember, uh, find on the camera in uh, Arena yes, it was in Kupru. Uh, <laughs> it was our it was you. <laughs> it, yeah, it was our sec second coach who went to the security room and uh, they watched the camera okay. <laughs> and okay. there, there they saw that that it was me yeah. Uh, kid, because we hear uh, from your friends, from your family, you like this place very much. It's true. After yeah. after uh, trainings, you're going very fast uh, to this place. Why? I really like sauna. I don't know. It's uh, I like it like very long time when I was like little little child. And uh, and in Estonia, it's like really popular also that we don't have so many houses but don't have sauna inside. So I have also sauna at home, and it's. In, I enjoy it. in big buildings too, or only yeah. in uh, houses, small houses for family? Hou houses and some flats also. That it's. But are you going only here, or something different place in uh, in Lubin? Yeah, I have a couple of places. Yeah, like uh, I'm a good sponsor for Unikatonia for sure, and also <laughs> in Polkovitz, uh, Polkovitz Agua Park. The, there I also I support them a lot. I think. Going back to a real uh, sport, uh, Kit, uh, you are here from uh, 2013, 
Uh, what memories do you have with this club? Uh, only good memories, uh, because I'm uh, third year here and uh, I wouldn't uh, stay here if, if I don't like it. So, positive, positive. I think the best memory is uh, the first season here when we, when we got this uh, fifth place. I think this, this was quite good result, I think for the club and for me also. I spoke with uh, trainers and physiotherapists. Uh, you didn't uh, have problem with your body. You're like cyborg, like machine. And uh, trainers didn't have uh, any problems with you in uh, his careers. It's true? Uh, I think it's positive. No? Because, of course. Uh, yeah, it's true. I, I don't uh, visit often our physio because uh, I feel okay. That's because normally you go there if you have some problem or something, but for me it's okay. And you are always first on the trainings, it's true? Uh, I don't know first, but uh, in first uh, three for sure, players who comes here. And you don't like stretching? <laughs> <laughs> stretching is not my favorite, favorite thing. Yeah, like. Why? I don't know. I my body is used to not to stretch because I haven't stretched. Because you're a strong man, 32 strong man. <laughs> That's what still I said. Th cyborg. Still 31, but yeah. It's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and this is a very important uh, question from uh, fans, not only from Lubin, but uh, Estonian fans and Polish fans. Uh, why have you missed uh, European Championship uh, in Poland 2017? What was the reason? Uh, the main reason was uh, was the family, because I I wanted to be more with my family. But uh, if I would go to national team, then it wouldn't be possible to spend uh, more time with my family. So I spoke with this uh, also with coach, and uh, then we had some couple of like argues and and that was the that was the reason that now we have to leave uh, european championship what you can say about a uh, new trainer uh, in lubin uh, patrick duflo he is a uh, french trainer of course uh, he was at the same time uh, like you in aragon yes. uh, you know each other uh, from uh, french team what you can uh, say about him uh, yeah, we worked uh, two years in France, so uh, I know his methods and everything. And for me, it's, uh, I have no problem with him. Like we have, we have good relations. Yes, and he was very happy that uh, you are in Kuprum when he came to Kuprum. Yeah, I was happy also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the that's why you have a good relationship. Yeah. Yes, I have a last question uh, for you, uh, Kit. What uh, challenges uh, do you have in your career, in volleyball career? Challenges. I think I first challenge is like to play uh, as long as possible, like when I'm feeling that I'm motivated and uh, then to play volleyball as long as possible. This is my like challenge. Okay, Robert told me that uh, you are that as well as Paul, you are like machine that you will play uh, for a long, long time, uh, so more so. than Masne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I will take it as my challenge to play more than Masne. Then we will see. Okay, and, and uh, your uh, your own private uh, goals. You can say something about that. Private goals. Uh, With your family. Uh, yeah, I think the, the most. I'm I'm happy when my family is happy. So, so this is my goal to to uh, keep them happy. You know. Mieliśmy okazję porozmawiać z Kitem Pupartem, przyjmującym drużyny Kuprum Lubin. Zapraszamy państwa na światmówkę i zapraszamy. Oglądajcie naszą Kuprum TV, a także wchodźcie na fanpage, ponieważ dużo ciekawostek dla was mamy i zapraszamy serdecznie na kolejne odsłony. Dziękuję bardzo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.